Lydia, welcome to Brighton and Hove Albion. How does it feel to be an Albion player? It's exciting to be back in the league and exciting to be in Brighton. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to kind of the next chapter and how to contribute to the team. As you said there, you've previously played in the WSL with Arsenal. What was it that made you want to return to the English League? Um, I think looking forward to um, preparation for the future, um, being back at a, at a club that, you know, have, having the opportunity to play and, um, yeah, just being back in England, it was such an um, amazing experience the first time and then when the opportunity came back again, I was pretty stoked again. You're joining from PSG. How's your time in France been in the, in the French League? Uh, I've definitely learnt a lot um, over in, in Paris and enjoyed my time there and it's a definitely a different style of football um, and I've learnt a lot, we had a, a good, good time but um, yeah, coming back and being able to kind of be back in this league and see how much it's grown um, since the Euros, uh, I'm excited to kind of see that growth as well. You said you've obviously learnt a lot in your time at PSG, do you think there's a lot of elements that you can bring in coming back to the WSL? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, it's such a prestigious club over there um, and a uh, high level of football and hopefully a little bit of that robustness coming from there to, to bring it here, I think um, I would like to contribute. Um, and then, you know, being back in Brighton, um, seeing playing against them over a couple of years um, previously and seeing how tough they've always been and kind of helping them develop that again and obviously going through this rebuilding phase. Obviously you're a player with a lot of experience competing in different countries and, and leagues, one of them being the Champions League. Do you feel like that experience for you, you can add a level of depth to this squad? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's a different kind of uh, mentality when it comes to Champions League games and um, bigger games because it really is only one chance a lot of the time. Um, so to kind of have that mentality going in week in, week out, I think will um, it's definitely something that's um, probably not been around, but I'm excited to kind of hopefully bring that in. You're aware of the challenges that the WSL present. Is that a sort of environment that you thrive in as a player? Yeah, um, I, I really enjoy how much this league has grown. Um, the support behind it from, from clubs and the media and fans and also all the staff. Um, it's really exciting to see how this league within a couple of years has just really shone and the players that come out of it and are produced in it um, and to be back in the league I think is exciting for me um, just to, to kind of keep on that, that cycle. Obviously there's still second half of the season to go and still a lot to play for and quite tight at the bottom of the table just now. Yeah it's um, going to be tough um, but I mean that's what you play football for you don't want an easy ride you want to be challenged um, and I think that's important and I'm actually really excited for that challenge because it's kind of like an underdog I guess mentality but you're out there trying to prove something and that's kind of you know exciting as an athlete. Obviously a lot happening in the team at the moment as well this January window, Jens coming in as the new head coach, four new signings and yourself joining. Is that a really exciting period for you to be involved in? Yeah I think you have to um, hit the ground running pretty quickly, learn how to fit in right away and um, understand how the coach wants um, you to perform and, and the club to perform and the team performance. So it's a it's a quick turnaround where you kind of have to be mentally sharp and um, it's actually really exciting to kind of see, you know, how quickly that can be developed through the club. The new girls joining, new defenders as well, is that an opportunity for you to help strengthen the back line and line of defence? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I want to contribute as any way as possible and um, to kind of have a, a start from, I guess, scratch a little bit with defenders and uh, other players within the team. I think it's how quickly you can kind of mesh and communicate and understand each other both on and off the pitch. You had said previously you were keen to see how well that the, the league is continuing to grow. I think being here at the training ground, the facilities and the level of investment the club is invested in the, the women's side, is that just incredibly positive for you to be joining? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think just walking through, or seeing pictures of the facility and then walking through it is, is quite incredible to see how much is just, you know, available just for the women's side and um, what you can do to make sure that you perform the best as an athlete 
um, and for the club and for yourself. I think that's really exciting that Brighton have definitely put that, um, I guess, support in that direction and that makes you kind of feel really welcomed. Coming in halfway through a season can be quite challenging, but what is it you want to, to achieve? What are some of your objectives that you want to get to for the remainder of this season? I think, um, as the, the club put it, they see themselves as, um, you know, a, a top um, half team and, you know, making championships in, in the future. Um, and I want to contribute whatever I can in, in that way to kind of help. It'll be a slow burn. Nothing's been built in like one day. So there's going to be some, I think, growing pains, but um, I'm excited to kind of ride what the vision of the club is and, and contribute in whatever way I can.